a Made by Marzipan production in cooperation with sakuraofamerica.com, presents How to Make a Gingerbread Man Bunting. A jumbo gingerbread man bunting is a fun and festive project to make with the kids. For this project, you'll need a roll of brown craft paper. Depending on where you're shopping, you can either find this by the wrapping paper or by mailing supplies like envelopes and packing tape. Begin by printing the free template from madebymarzipan.com. Cut out along the solid line. Begin by folding the craft paper once, making the paper a little smaller than the template. The dotted lines on the gingerbread man's hands and feet should align with the edge of the paper, so the tips of his hands and feet will hang off the edge. These are the points where the gingerbread men will be connected, so they won't be cut. Trace around the template. I'm choosing to cut two because I'll be making a front and back later. Now fold the paper repeatedly with accordion folds. To do this, flip over the paper and fold backwards, aligning the crease with the edge of the paper. Flip the paper again to fold in the opposite direction. The more folds you make, the longer your bunting will be. Do your best to keep the folds even. Cut out the gingerbread men. Remember that you don't want to sever the point where the hands and feet are connected. Now comes the fun part, decorating. Kids will love giving each gingerbread man his own personality. I had a hard time deciding which pens or markers to use, so I raided my stash and used them all. Here's a peek at Sakura's souffle pens. On regular paper and cardstock, the ink from these pens puffs up a bit as it dries. However, the craft paper is pretty absorbent, so it soaked up the ink instead. Still, I like the milky pastel finish because it reminds me of whitewash paint. Next up, Sakura's Jelly Roll Stardust Pens. These pens have glitter in the ink for a bit of sparkle. Perfect for this gingerbread girl. Jelly Roll Moonlight Pens are specially made to show up on dark surfaces making them ideal for use on craft paper. The ink shows up beautifully and the kids will love the bright neon colors. Finally, I'm trying out Sakura's Permapig pens. These pens have a paint-like finish and the dual tips mean it's easy to do detail work or color large areas. These also come in metallic finishes. Finally, Sakura's Micro Perm Pen is perfect for outlining. A fine tip gives control in small areas, and the ink won't bleed, even on this absorbent paper. If you'd like your bunting to stand out more, you can make it three-dimensional by stuffing it. To do this, first glue a ribbon segment to the underside of the free hand of the first and last gingerbread men. This will make them easier to hang. Cut a second string of gingerbread men the same length as the first. Use a hot glue gun to adhere the backing to the first gingerbread man. Glue around the outer edges only, avoiding the center. Leave an opening along the middle of one side. Stuff with shredded newspaper or quilt batting. Remember, glue guns are hot enough to cause serious burns, so have an adult do this part. Glue the hole shut, then repeat for the rest of the gingerbread men. However you decide to decorate your gingerbread bunting, it will look adorable hanging in your home. For more information about the products shown, visit sakuraofamerica.com. To download the free template, please visit my website, madebymarzipan.com, and search for Gingerbread Bunting.